Uh, Dad has written several children's books using rap music, but it doesn't end there. John is getting a little, getting his rap ready to find out more. Hey, John. Yeah, guys, this is so cool. Uh, it's called Lexi the Rap Dad, and we are joined this morning by Alexis Alexander, who is, in fact, Lexi the Rap Dad, joining us via Zoom this morning from Canada. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, John. I appreciate it. Okay, so I feel like this is such a cool idea because I have a, a two-year-old daughter, and I can remember when I was a kid reading books, and everything felt like it was from 150 years ago. But this yeah. is like, a, how did you come up with this idea, and what what made you decide to do this? Well, I was uh, I was working in the corporate world. wasn't very happy with my job, and uh, my son was born, and we discovered that he needed to have surgery. Uh, as a little guy. Mm -hmm. So I knew where I needed to be was at home with him uh, during his recovery. So I left my job in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. And while I was off, I started writing books to entertain my kids and they really enjoyed them. And I love sharing them with others. So inspired by my super awesome wife, I decided not to go back to the corporate world and started touring around local schools. And while I was at one of the early performances, a teacher told me that the book sounded like rap songs. And she challenged me to wrap it for the next group of students coming oh my in. Goodness. Well, John, I, I wrapped the book and everything changed. The kids were dancing and laughing and the teachers were dancing and laughing. And that's how Lexi the Rap Dad from Friendly Fables got started. Had you done any sort of dabbling in rap music before this? Um, only with my friends in college. Uh huh. It like just kind of freestyling and stuff like that? Yeah, just having fun. I'm a huge fan of hip hop music. Mm -hmm. I have been for my whole life. Um, I actually used to uh, write reviews for Hip Hop DX when I was younger. And so it's always been in me. And, and this is just something I found that the kids were really into and my kids especially. Uh, so you're a Canadian rapper. Do you have beef with Drake yet? <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> so t so uh, I've tell you, I was telling you during the break that I've had the dinosaur song uh, stuck in my head. What are some of the other uh, books you guys have? Well, we've got a, uh, a fart book, which is a, a fan <laughs> favorite, a fart rap song. Wow. It's got a good lesson, John, I promise, for your okay. two-year-old. Okay. We've got the, uh, the dinosaur rap along. We've also got the heroic hospital quest, which all the proceeds go to the hospital for sick children here in Toronto. Well, that's awesome. And then all kinds of other titles that my wife and I uh, found along the way that the kids enjoyed, like a, a trip to the zoo and Myrtle's big race about a turtle who wants to run fast. So they're all real that's fun awesome. and, and uh, entertaining so I, for kids. I may regret asking this, but can you give us a couple of lines from the fart one? <laughs> oh yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. He's so okay, excited. I love it. You're right. Yeah. Farts are funny, but I'm not sure why. Some are smelly and make your parents cry. <laughs> it's not polite to fart, that's true. It actually means you need to go poo. <laughs> okay, okay, so I once had a fart that contains superpower. That is awesome. Okay, so I understand, oh I understand you have a way, uh, you're, you're gonna give away some books for, for our viewers. How, how, do they, how do they enter to do this? Yeah, so go to uh, our social media, Friendly Fables on Instagram, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, like, give us a, a follow, and uh, we're gonna pick one of the followers, one of the lucky followers, and we're gonna send you a set of the Wrap Along books, and then you can check them out. And, and you can also, follow, the cool thing is, John, is you can follow along with the books on Spotify or YouTube, and I find that's what really makes the books come alive for kids these days is, there's not, you, like you said at the starting, uh, you know, some of the books seem a little older and yeah. I wanted to bring something new school and something that kind of jumped off the page, so. Okay, so they go follow you, may, have, well, mention Good Day Sacramento when they follow you, right? And then you're gonna pick one of those and they're gonna get the set of the books, is that correct? Yeah, Okay. that's perfect. correct. Uh, Lexi the Rap Dad, thank you so much, we appreciate that. Thanks for having me and, right. and have a good day, Sacramento. I will. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, uh, why don't you guys do a rap battle about farts right now, John? Go for it. <laughs> they were definitely not Free talking style. about nope. in the 50s. No, 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 I no, no, no. Guarantee. That has not happened. <laughs> but you guys weren't expecting that, huh? Yeah. No. Didn't see that coming. Well, and I, I should mention, John, the most important part of the book. It says, oops, John, I should have mentioned this at the start. Don't forget to say excuse me after every fart. Man, <laughs> see? <laughs> see? Stuck the landing. Stuck the landing. Stuck yeah, landing. this may be too much information. My, my wife right now is saying, I've been trying to tell him that for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> he is great. Oh, that chain is amazing. <laughs>